I'm beginning to come around to that opinion. All my life, I tried to put it from me, saying, Vladimir, be reasonable. You haven't yet tried everything. And I resumed the struggle. So, there you are again. Am I? I am glad to see you. I thought you were gone forever. Me too. <laughs> Together again at last. We'll have to celebrate, but how? Get up till I embrace you. Not now, not now. May one inquire where his highness spent the night? In a ditch. A ditch? Where? Over there. And they didn't beat you? Beat me? Certainly they beat me. The same lot as usual? The same? Why? Well, I, I don't know. Think of it, Gogo. All these years, but for me, where would you be? You'd be nothing but a little heap of bones at the present minute, no doubt about that. Well, what of it? It's all too much for one man. <laughs> On the other hand, what's the point of losing heart now? That's what I say. We should have thought of it a million years ago in the 90s. Ah, uh, stop blathering and help me off with this bloody thing. Hand in hand, from the top of the Eiffel Tower, among the first we were respectable in those days. Now it's too late. They wouldn't even let us up. Help me. It hurts? Hurts. He wants to know if it hurts. Oh, nobody suffers but you. I don't count. I'd like to know what you'd say if you have what I have. <laughs> it hurts? Hurts? He wants to know if it hurts. You might button it all the same. <laughs> True. <laughs> Never neglect the little things in life. What do you expect? You always wait till the last moment. The last moment. Hope deferred. Make it to something sick. Who said that? <laughs> Why don't you help me? Sometimes I feel it coming all the same, and, and then I go all queer. How shall I say, relieved, and at the same time, appalled, <laughs> appalled. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to be done. Well, nothing. Show. There's nothing to show. Try and put it on again. I'll air it for a bit. There's man all over for you. Blaming on his boots the faults of his feet. This is getting alarming. <laughs> One of the thieves was saved. It's a reasonable percentage. Go, go. What? Suppose. We repented. Repented what? Oh, uh, we wouldn't have to go into the details. <laughs> Our being born? <laughs> oh, one dares even laugh anymore. <laughs> Dreadful privation. Merely smile. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Nothing to be done. Go, go. What is it? Did you ever read the Bible? The Bible? I must have taken a look at it. Do you remember the Gospels? I remember the maps of the Holy Land. Colored they were, very pretty. The Dead Sea was pale blue. The very look of it made me thirsty. That's where we'll go, I used to say. That's where we'll go on our honeymoon. We'll swim, we'll be happy. Hmm. You should have been a poet. I was. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Where was I? How's your foot? Swelling visibly. Ah, yes. The two thieves. Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. It'll pass the time. Two thieves crucified at the same time as our Savior. One. Our what? Our Savior. 
Two thieves. <laughs> One is supposed to have been saved, and the other, damned. Saved from what? Hell. I'm going. And yet, how is it? This is not boring you, I hope. And yet, how is it? Of the four evangelists, only one speaks of a thief being saved. All four were there, or thereabouts, but only one speaks of a thief being saved. Come on, go-go. Return the ball, can't you, once in a way? <laughs> I find this really most extraordinarily interesting. One out of the four. Of the other three, two don't mention any thieves at all, and the third says both of them abused him. Who? What? What's this all about? Abused who? The savior. Why? Because he wouldn't save them. From hell? In the soul, from death. I thought you said hell. From death, from death. Well, what of it? Then the two of them must have been damned. Well, they don't agree, and that's all there is to it. But one of the forces, one of the two was saved. But all four were there. But only one speaks of a thief being saved. Why believe him rather than the others? Who believes him? Everybody. It's the only version they know. <sighs> People are bloody ignorant apes. Charming spot, <laughs> inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godot. Oh. Are you sure it was here? What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. A willow. Where are the leaves? must be dead. No more weeping. Perhaps it's not the season. Looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. A sh what are you insinuating? That we've come to the wrong place? He should be here. He didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come, we'll come back tomorrow. Then the day after tomorrow. Possibly. And so on. The point is, until he comes, you're merciless. We came here yesterday. Ah, no. There, you're mistaken. What did we do yesterday? What did we do yesterday? <laughs> yes. Why, <laughs> nothing is certain when you're about. In my opinion, we were here. You recognize the place? I didn't say that. Well, that makes no difference. All the same, that, that tree, that bog. Are you sure it was this evening? What? That we were to wait. He said, Saturday, I think. You think? I, I, I must have made a note what? of it. <laughs> what Saturday? And is it Saturday? Is it not, in fact, Sunday? Or Monday? Or Friday? It's not possible. Or the Thursday. What will we do? If he came yesterday and we weren't here, you may be sure that he won't come again today. But you say we were here yesterday. I may be mistaken. <laughs> Can we stop talking for a moment? Uh, do you mind? All right. when I wonder if we wouldn't be better apart. You wouldn't go far. That would be too bad. Really too bad. Wouldn't it, Dee Dee, be really too bad? When you think about the beauty of the way 
and the goodness of the wayfarers? What did you mean? Calm yourself! Calm! Calm! The British say, calm. <laughs> Do you know the story of the Englishman in the brothel? <laughs> yes! Tell it to me! Yes. An Englishman, having drunk a little more than usual, proceeds to a brothel. The bard asks him if he would like a fair-haired one, a dark one, or a red-haired one. Go on! Stop it! <laughs> you wanted to speak to me? You got something to say to me, Dee Dee? I have nothing to say to you. You're angry? Forgive me. Come, Dee Dee. Take my hand. Embrace me. Don't be stubborn. The smell of garlic it's for the kidneys. <laughs> what do we do now? Wait. Yes, but while waiting. What about hanging ourselves? Hmm. It gives us an erection. An erection? With all that follows! Where it falls, man traits grow. That's why they shriek when you pull them up. Did you not know that? Let's hang ourselves immediately. From a bow? I wouldn't trust it. Uh, we could always try. Go ahead. After you. No, no, you first. <laughs> why me? You're lighter than I am. Just so. I don't understand. Use your intelligence, can't you? I remain in the dark. This is how it is. The bow. The bow. Use your head, can't you? You're my only hope. <laughs> go, go. Light. Bow, not break. Go, go. Mm, dead. Dee Dee. Heavy. Bow. Break! Dee Dee alone. Whereas, I hadn't thought of that. If it'll hang you, it'll hang anything. But am I heavier than you? So, you tell me, I don't know. There's an even chance, oh, or nearly. What do we do? Don't let's do anything, it's safer. <laughs> Good idea. Let's wait and see what he says. Who? Godot. Good idea. Let's wait till we know exactly how we stand. On the other hand, it might be better to strike the iron before it freezes. <laughs> I'm curious to know what he has to offer. Then we'll take it or leave it. What exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? I can't have been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. Uh, kind of... Prayer? Precisely. A vague uh, supplication? Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. Consult his family. His friends. His books. His uh, correspondence. His agent. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's the normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. <laughs> And uh, we, <coughs> I beg your pardon? And I said, and we, <coughs> I don't understand. Where do we come in? Come in? Take your time. Come in. On our hands and knees. As bad as that? Your worship wishes to assert his prerogatives. We've got no rights anymore? You make me laugh if it wasn't prohibited. We've lost our rights? We got rid of them. We're not. Listen! Dead. We're. I hear nothing. 
Nor I. You gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? Godot. <laughs> the wind in the reeds. I, I could have sworn. I heard shouts. Why would he shout? At his horse. Carrot. Is that all there is? I might have some turnips. Give me a carrot. It's a turnip. Oh, pardon. I could have sworn it was a carrot. No oh boy. All oh, that's turnips. <laughs> you might have eaten the last. Oh, wait. Here you go. <laughs> there you are, dear fellow. Now, make it last. That's the end of them. <laughs> I asked you a question. Ah? Huh? Did you reply? How's the carrot? It's a carrot. So much the better, so much the better. Well, what was it you wanted to know? I've forgotten. That's what annoys me. I always remember this carrot. Yes, now I remember. Well, we're not tired. I don't hear a word you're saying. We're not tied. Tied? Tied. How do you mean, tied? Down. But to whom? By whom? To your man. To Godot. Mm. Tied to Godot. <laughs> <laughs> what an idea. No question of it. <laughs> For the moment. His name is Godot? I think so. <laughs> Fancy that. <laughs> The more you eat, the worse it gets. <laughs> With me, it's just the opposite. In other words? I get used to the muck as I go along. Is that the opposite? Question of temperament. A parrot. Nothing you can do about it. No use struggling. One is what one is. No use struggling. The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Like to finish it? Ah! see, of the same species as myself, <laughs> of the same species as Pozzo, made in God's image. Well, you see. Who's Goodell? Goodell? You took me for it. Uh, no, 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 not for an instant, sir. No, sir. Who is he? Uh, he's a kind of acquaintance. Nothing of the kind. We hardly know him. Oh, yeah, it's true. We, we don't know him very well, but personally, I wouldn't even know him if I saw him. You took me for him, but 
<laughs> That's to say you understand uh, the dusk. Uh, Waiting the string. Uh, I confess, I uh, thought for a minute that <laughs> waiting. So you were waiting for it. Well, you see, here on my land, you didn't intend any harm. We meant well. The road was free to all. That's the way we looked at it. It's a disgrace. But there you are. <laughs> Nothing. Up, oh, pig done. Every time he drops, he falls asleep. <laughs> Up, pig. Oh! Ah! Stop. Turn. Turn. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am happy to have met you. Yes, yes. Sincerely happy. <laughs> Closer! Stop! Yes, the, the road seems long when one journeys for... Yes, yes, six hours, that's right. For six hours on end with never a soul in sight. <laughs> Coat! evening. Yes. yes, gentlemen, I cannot go for long without the society of my likes. <laughs> Even when the likeness is an uh, imperfect one. <laughs> permission, I propose to dally with you a moment before I venture any further. Basket! Yeah. Whip! The fresh air stimulates the jaded appetite. <laughs> Be a good thing? What are we risking? Mr. Louder! 
Mystery! Leave him in peace. Can't you see he wants to rest? Basket. <laughs> Please, sir. Uh, yes, my good man. Uh, the bones are. You, 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 you haven't finished with the. Or you, you don't need the bones, sir? You couldn't have waited! Uh, no, no, he does well to ask. Do I need the bones? <clears throat> no, personally, I do not need them anymore. But, but in theory, the bones go to the carrier. He is therefore the one to ask. Go on, go on, don't be afraid. Ask him, he'll tell you. Uh, mister, uh, excuse me, mister. You're being spoken to, Pig. Reply. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, uh, excuse me, mister. The bones, uh, you won't be wanting the bones. Mister, <laughs> reply, do you want them or don't you? They're yours. <laughs> I don't like it. I've never known him to refuse a bone before. My business is in me if he fell sick on me. It's a scandal! Are you alluding to anything in particular? To treat a man like that, a, a human being, I think that, no, it's a scandal, a disgrace. You are severe. What age are you, if it's not a rude question? 60, 70? What age would you say he was? Eleven. <laughs> I am impertinent. <sighs> but I must be getting on. Uh, uh, thank you for your society. Unless I smoke another pipe before I go. Huh. Oh, I'm only a small smoker. <laughs> what are you saying? A very small smoker. <laughs> I'm not in the habit of smoking two pipes, one on top of the other. It makes my uh, heart go pit-a-pat. <laughs> it's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. <sighs> you know how it is. <laughs> but perhaps you don't smoke, yes? No? It's... Uh, of no importance, <laughs> but uh, how am I to sit down now without affectation, now that I have risen, without appearing to, uh, how should I say, without appearing to, to falter? I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, but perhaps you didn't speak? Uh, it's of no importance. Let me see. Oh, that's better. Ah, let's go! So soon? One moment. <clears throat> Stool. Presence. 
I am perhaps not particularly human, but who cares? <laughs> Think twice before you do anything rash. <laughs> I mean, suppose you go now while it is still day, for there is no denying that it is still day. <laughs> well, um, suppose uh, you go now. Uh, 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 what happens in that case? Hmm. Oh, I'm out. <clears throat> in that case, hmm. what happens in that case <clears throat> to your appointment with this uh, Godet, uh, Godot, Godet, anyhow, you see who I mean, who has <clears throat> your future in his hand, or at least your immediate future. <clears throat> who told you? He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we shall soon be old friends. <laughs> Why doesn't he put down his bags? <clears throat> Why doesn't he put down his bags? Oh. You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags, as you call them. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, well, <clears throat> the answer is this. But, 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 but stay still. I beg of you, you're making me nervous. Here. What is it? He's about to speak. Oh. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Is everybody looking at me? <laughs> Will you look at me, pig? Good. <clears throat> look. Good, that's enough. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I'm going. But uh, what, 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 what was I saying? Why he does Don't interrupt me! <laughs> if we all speak at once, we'll never get anywhere. Now, 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 what, 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 is, what was it exactly you wanted to know? Why he doesn't put down his back? <laughs> Pags. Why? Always hold. Never put down. Why? Ah, why couldn't you say so before? <laughs> why just make himself comfortable? Well, let's try and get this clear. <laughs> has he not the right to? Certainly he has. It follows that he doesn't want to. <laughs> There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? Gentlemen, the answer is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I'll keep him. What? Uh, perhaps I haven't got it quite right. Uh, he wants to mollify me so that I'll get... You want to get rid of him? Uh, no, that's not exactly it either. No, I, he wants to con me, <laughs> but he won't. You want to get rid of him? Uh, he imagines that when I see how well he carries, I'll be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him? Uh, in reality, he carries like a pig. Well, it's not his job. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, <laughs> I will regret my decision. Such is his miserable scheme. As though I were short of slaves. <laughs> Atlas, son of Jupiter. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that's that, I think. Uh, anything else? You want to get rid of him? Mm. Remark that uh, I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine if, if, um, if fate had not willed otherwise. Uh, to each one his due. You want to get rid of him? I beg your pardon? You want to get rid of him? I do. But instead of just <laughs> casting him out as I might have done, I mean, instead of simply kicking him out on his arse, in the goodness of my heart, I'm bringing him to the fair, where I hope to get a good price for him. <laughs> yes, the, the truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. The best thing would be to kill them. He's crying. Oh, old dogs have more dignity. Uh, 
Comfort him since you pity him. Come, wipe away his tears. He'll feel less forsaken. You could give it to me, I'll do it. <laughs> but quick, before he stops. <laughs> I'll never walk again! I'll carry you! <laughs> if necessary. <laughs> he stopped crying. You have replaced him, as it were. Well, the, the tears of the world are a constant quantity. For each one who begins to weep, somewhere else another stops. The same is true of the laugh. <laughs> yes. Let us then not speak ill of our generation. It is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Well, let's not speak well of it either. Let us not speak of it at all. It's true the population has increased. Try and walk. Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky will night never come. But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things. <laughs> Professional worries. Beauty, grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were all beyond me, so I took a canook. <laughs> a canook? Yes, that was nearly 60 years ago. Yes, nearly 60. Mm, mm, mm. You wouldn't think it to look at me, would you? I mean, compared to him, I look like a young man, no? Hat. Now look. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> and now you turn him away? Such an old and faithful servant? Swine, after having sucked all the good out of him, you, you chuck him away like a, like, like a banana skin? Really? I can't bear it any longer. The way he goes on, you've no idea. It's horrible. He must go. I'm going mad. I can't bear it any longer. He can't bear it any longer. He's going mad. It's terrible. How dare you? It's abominable. Such a good master. Crucify it like that after so many years. Really? He used to be so kind, so helpful, and entertaining, my good angel. And now, he's killing me. <laughs> In the meantime, nothing happens. Uh, 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 gentlemen, <laughs> I don't know what came over me. <laughs> uh, forgive me. <laughs> Forget all I said. I don't remember exactly what it was, but <laughs> you can be certain uh, uh, there wasn't a word of truth in it. I mean, do I look like a man that could be made to suffer? Frankly? <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> what have I done with my pipe? <laughs> Charming evening we're having. <laughs> Unforgettable. And it's not over. 
Apparently not. It's only beginning. <laughs> it's awful. Worse than the pantomime. The circus. <laughs> the musical. The circus. What, what can I have done with that brother? <laughs> chance. Oh, he's gone. <coughs> Without saying goodbye, how could he? He might have waited. He would have burst. <laughs> oh. oh, well, of course, in that case. Come here. What is it? You'll see. You want me to get up? Quick! <laughs> Subsides. Indeed, all subsides. A great calm descends. Listen, Pan sleeps. Will night never come? You don't feel that going until it does. Well, you see. Oh, well, it's, it's perfectly natural, perfectly natural. I myself, in your situation, if I had an appointment with this. Good day, good dog, good day. Anyhow, you see who I mean. <laughs> oh, I'd wait until it was black night before I gave up. I'd very much like to sit down, but I don't quite know how to go about it. <laughs> Could I get help? If you ask me, perhaps. What? If you ask me to sit down, would that be a help? I fancy so. Here we go. Be seated, sir. I beg of you. No, no, I wouldn't think of it. <laughs> Ask me again. Come, come, sir. Take a seat. I beseech you, you'll get pneumonia. Do you really think so? Why, it's absolutely certain. <sighs> Don't doubt you're right. Done it again. Thank you, dear fellow. But uh, I must be getting on if I'm to observe my schedule. Time has stopped. Oh, don't you believe it, sir? Don't you believe it? Whatever you like, but not that. Everything seems black to him today. Uh, except the firmament. <laughs> Oh, but uh, <clears throat> I see what it is. You're not from these parts. You don't know what our twilights can do. Shall I tell you? <laughs> I can't refuse you, but uh, uh, be uh, a little attentive, uh, if you please. Uh, what's the... Matter with this, this whip. Worn out this whip. Let's go. What was I saying? Oh, but take the weight off your feet. I implore you. Uh, you'll catch your death. Ah, uh, true. What's your name? Adam. Ah, oh, yes, the knight. But be a little more attentive for pity's sake, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. <clears throat> Look. <laughs> Will you look at the sky, pig? Good, that's enough. 
What is it about it that's so extraordinary? Qua sky. It is pale and luminous, like any sky at this hour of the day. In these latitudes, when the weather is fine, Yes, yes, yes. Having poured forth, even since 10 o'clock in the morning, poured forth red and white light in intensity, it begins to lose its effulgence, to grow pale, pale, ever a little paler, a little paler, until finished, it comes to rest. But, but behind this veil of gentleness and peace, night is charging and will burst upon a spot like that, just when you least expect it. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. So long as one knows. One can bide one's time. One knows what to expect. No further need to worry. Simply wait. We're used to it. How did you find me? Good? Fair? Middling? Poor? Positively bad? Oh, very good. Very, very good. And you, sir? Oh, uh, Trey Bong. Trey, Trey, Trey Bong. Bless you, gentlemen. Bless you. I have such need of encouragement. I weakened a little towards the end. You didn't notice? Just a teeny, weeny, little bit. I thought it was intentional. You see, my memory is defective. Nothing comes, nothing goes, nothing happens. Do you find awful. it tedious? Somewhat. Uh, and you, sir? I've been better entertained. <laughs> Gentlemen, you have been civil to me. <laughs> Not at all. What an idea! Yes, yes, you have been correct. So that I ask myself, is there anything I can do in my turn for these honest fellows who are having such a dull, dull time? Even ten francs would help. We are not beggars. Is there anything I can do? That's what I ask myself to cheer them up. I have given them bones. I have talked to them about this and that. I, I have explained the twilight to them, admittedly, but is it enough? That's what tortures me. Is it enough? Even five? That's enough! I couldn't accept less. Is it enough? No doubt. <laughs> but I am liberal. <laughs> it's my nature. This evening, so much the worse for me. For I shall suffer. No doubt about that. Oh, what would you prefer? Shall we have him dance or sing or recite or think? Or... Who? Who? For you to know how to think, do you? He thinks? <laughs> Certainly. Aloud. He, he even used to think very prettily once. Yes, yes, I could listen to him for hours. Now, so much the worse for me. Well, uh, would you like him to think something for us? Uh, I'd rather he dance. It'd be more fun. Not necessarily. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more fun? Oh, I'd well like to hear him think. Perhaps he can dance first and then think afterwards if it isn't too much to ask him. 
Would that be possible? <laughs> oh, by all means, nothing simpler. It's the natural order. Then let him dance. <sighs> Do you hear, Hulk? He never refuses? He refused once. Dance, pig! Something about it. Oh! Tell us about the time he refused. <laughs> oh, with pleasure, with pleasure. <laughs> Wait. What? What have I done with my spray? <laughs> I can't find my pulverizer. My left lung. Is very weak. <laughs> but my right lung is as sound as a bell. No matter. <laughs> oh, no, what was I saying? Wait. Well, now, isn't that. Help me! Wait! 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 <laughs> ah! He has it! Well, why doesn't he put down his bags? Rubbish! Are you sure? Dad, haven't you already told us? I've already told He's you? He's already told us? Anyway, he has put them down. So he has. And what of it? If he has put his bags down, it is impossible we should have to ask why he does not do so. Stoutly reason. And why has he put them down? Uh, answer us that. In order to dance. True. True. <laughs> In the meantime, nothing happens. Tell him to think. Stand back. <clears throat> Does he need anything? Well, to give him his hat. His hat? Give him his hat. He can't think without his hat. Give him his hat. Me? After what he did to me? Never! I'll give it to him. Tell him to go and fetch it! It's better to give it to him. I'll give it to him! You must put it on his head. Tell him to take it! It's better to put it on his head! I'll put it on his head. Well, what's he waiting for? Uh, now stand back. Think, pig. <laughs> Stop! Back! Stop! Think! On the other hand... Uh, no, stop! Up. Forward! Stop! Turn. Stop. Think. Given the existence, as uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman, of a personal god, pa 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 pa, with white beard, pa 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 pa, outside time, 
without extension, who, from the heights of divine apathia, divine athambia, divine aphasia, loves us dearly, with some exceptions, for reasons unknown, but time will tell, and suffers like the divine Miranda, with those who, for reasons unknown, but time will tell, are plunged in torment, plunged in fire, whose fire flames. And if that continues, and who can doubt that it will fire the firmament, that is to say, blast hell to heaven so blue, still calm, so calm, a calm which even though intermittent is better than nothing. But not so fast, considering what is more, as a result of the labors left unfinished, crowned by the g -g 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 Academy of Anthropometry of Essie and Posey of Teshukhtar, it is established beyond all doubt, all other doubt than that which clings to the labor of man. As a result of those labors left unfinished, it establishes here within all that gathers and then concurrently, simultaneously, what is more, for reasons unknown, in spite of the physical cultures, the, the practice of sports such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, flying, floating, riding, gliding, kinetic, emoji, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, flying, sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter, tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and Soxidania in a word. I resume, dying, flying, golf over nine and 18 holes, tennis of all sorts, in a word for reasons unknown, infect him, peck him, pull him, clap him, namely concurrently, simultaneously, what is more, for reasons unknown, no matter what the time is. And I resume, full him, clap him, in a word, the dead lost per head since the death of Bishop Berkeley, being to the tune of one inch, four ounce per head, approximately, by and large, more or less to the nearest decimal. Good measure, round figure, stark naked in its stocking feet, in Canamera, in a word for reasons unknown, no matter what the facts are there. And considering what is more, much more grave, that in the light of the labors lost of Steinway and Peter in, it is appears what is more, much more great than in the light, the light of the labors lost in, of Steinway and Peterman in the plains, in the mountains, on the rivers, on the sea, running water, running fire, the air is the same, and then the earth, namely the air, the earth in the great cold, the great dark, the air and the earth, the boat of stone, alas, alas, in the year of the Lord, 600 something, the air, the earth, the sea, the earth, the boat of stone, and the deep, the great cold on the sea, on the land, and in the air, I resume for reasons unknown in spite of the tennis. The facts are there, but time will tell. I resume, alas, alas, on, on, and short and fine. Alone, on, on, and then, uh, who can doubt it? I resume, unknown. I resume, the skull, the skull, the skull, fading, 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 in Canterbury, in spite of the tennis. On, on, the beard, the flames, the, the tears, the stone, so blue, so calm. Alas, alas. Canard unfinished. Canard did the canard. Avenged. Get me that. There is an end to his thinking. But will he be able to walk? Walk or crawl? Oh, perhaps he's dead. You'll kill him.
He can walk. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, gentlemen. And let me, let me wish you, wish you, uh, the, now, what have, what have I done with my watch? <laughs> A genuine half hunter, gentlemen, with death being escaped by death. It was my grandpa gave it to me. Perhaps it's in your fog. Oh. I hear nothing. I mean, shouldn't you at least hear the tick tick? Silence! I hear something. Where? It's the heart. Damnation. Silence! Perhaps it has stopped. Which of you smells so bad? <laughs> he has stinking breath and I have stinking feet. I must go. And, and your half hunter? I must have left it at the manor. Then, adieu. 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 <laughs> adieu. And thank you. Thank you. Not at all. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to depart. <laughs> Such is life. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. I need a running start. Oh. Stand back. Yes, but not so rapidly. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godot. Ah! How they've changed. And if he doesn't come? How they've changed. Who? Those two. Changed? Haven't they? Very likely. They all change, only we can't. <laughs> Likely? It's certain. Didn't you see them? I suppose I did, but I don't know them. Yes, you do know them. No, I don't know them. We know them, I tell you. You forget everything. Unless they're not the same. Why didn't they recognize us, then? Oh, that means nothing. I, too, pretended not to recognize them, and then nobody ever recognizes us. Forget it. What we need... Ow! <sighs> Ow! Oh! Unless they're not the same. Dee, it's the other foot! Unless they're not the same. Mister! Off we go again. <laughs> Approach, my child. Mr. Albert? Yes? What do you want? What is it? Mr. Goodell. Obviously. Approach. Approach when you're told, can't you? You have a message from Mr. Godot. Yes, sir. Well, what is it? Will you approach? What kept you so late? Let him alone. You let me alone. Do you know what time it is? It's not my fault, sir. And whose is it? Mine? I was afraid, sir. Afraid of what? Of us? Answer me. <laughs> I know what it is he was afraid of. The others. How long have you been here? A good while, sir. Were you afraid of the whip? Yes, sir. The roars? Yes, sir. The two big men? Yes, sir. Do you know them? No, sir. Are you native to these parts? Do you belong to these parts? Yes, sir. That's all a pack of lies! Tell us the truth! Will you let him alone? What's the matter with 
you? What's the matter with you? I'm unhappy. Not really. Since when? I'd forgotten. Extraordinary. The tricks that memory plays. Well, I've seen you before, haven't I? I don't know, sir. You don't know me? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday? No, sir. Words. Words. Speak. Mr. Gideau told me to tell you he won't come this evening, but surely tomorrow. Is that all? Yes, sir. You work for Mr. Godot? Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm in the goat, sir. Is he good to you? No. Yes, sir. <laughs> he doesn't beat you? No, sir, not me. Who does he beat? He beats my brother. Ah, you have a brother? Yes, sir. And what does he do? He mounts the sheep, sir. And why doesn't he beat you? I don't know, sir. He must be fond of you. I don't know, sir. Does, does he give you enough to eat? Does he feed you well? Fairly well, sir. You're not unhappy? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you're unhappy or not? No, sir. You're as bad as myself. <laughs> What about it? Where do you sleep? In the loft, sir. With your brother? Yes, sir. In the hay? Yes, sir. All right. You may go. What am I to tell Mr. Bedell, sir? Tell him that you saw us. You did see us. Didn't you? Yes, sir. At last. What are you doing? Pale for weariness. Eh? Of climbing heaven and looking upon the likes of us. No, your boots. What are you doing with your boots? I'm leaving them there. Another will come just as, as, as me, but with smaller feet, and they'll make him happy. But you can't go barefoot. Christ did. Christ? <laughs> what has Christ got to do with it? You're not going to compare yourself to Christ. <laughs> All my life I've compared myself to him. <laughs> but where he lived, it was warm, it was dry. Yes, and they crucified quick. <laughs> <laughs> We've nothing more to do here. Nor anywhere else. <laughs> oh, don't go on like that, Gogo. -go. Tomorrow, everything will be better. How do you make that out? Did you not hear what the child said? No. He said Godot was sure to come tomorrow. What do you think of that? Then all we have to do is wait on here. Are you mad? We must take cover. Come on. Hey, we haven't got a bit of rope. Yes. Come on, it's cold. Remind me to bring a bit of rope tomorrow. Yes, come on. How long have we been?
been together all the time now? I don't know. Fifty years, maybe. Do you remember the time I threw myself into the room? We were grape harvesting. You fished me out. That's all dead and buried. My clothes dried in the sun. There's no good harking back on that. Come on! Wait! I'm cold! Wait! I sometimes wonder if we wouldn't be better off alone. Each one to himself. We weren't made for the same road. It's, it's not certain. No, nothing's certain. We could still park if you think it would be better. It's not worthwhile now. No, it's not worthwhile now. Well, shall we go? Yes, let's go. of bread, then cook up with a ladle, and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running, and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running, and dug the dog a tomb, and rode upon the tombstone for the eyes of dogs to come. A dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread and cooked up with a ladle and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. And dug the dog a tomb. You again. Come here till I embrace you. Don't touch me. <clears throat> you want me to go away? Go, go. Did they beat you? Go, go. Where did you spend the night? Don't touch me. Don't question me. Don't speak to me. Stay with me. Did I ever leave you? You let me go. Look at me. Will you look at me? <laughs> what a day. Who beat you? Tell me. Another day done with. Not yet. For me, it's over and done with no matter what happens. I heard you singing. That's right. I remember. That finished me. I thought to myself, he's all alone. He thinks I'm gone forever. And he sings. One is not master of one's moods. All day, I felt in great form. 
I didn't get up in the night, not once. You see? <laughs> you piss better when I'm not there. I missed you. And at the same time, I felt happy. Isn't that a queer thing? <laughs> happy? Well, perhaps it's not quite the right word. And now? Now, <clears throat> there you are again. There we are again. There I am again. You see, you feel worse when I'm with you. I feel better alone, too. Then why do you always come crawling back? I don't know. No, but I do. It's because you don't know how to defend yourself. I wouldn't have let them beat you. You couldn't have stopped them. Why not? There was 10 of them. No, I mean before they beat you. I would have stopped you from doing whatever it was you were doing. I wasn't doing anything. Ah, no, Gogo. The truth is, things escape you that don't escape me. You must feel it yourself. I tell you, I wasn't doing anything. Well, perhaps you weren't. But it's the way of doing it that counts. <laughs> the way of doing it. If you want to go on living. I wasn't doing anything. You must be happy too. Deep down. If you only knew it. Happy about what? To be back with me again. Would you say so? Say you are, even if it's not true. What am I to say? Say, I am happy. I am happy. So am I. So am I. We are happy. We are happy. What do we do now, now that we are happy? <laughs> Wait for Godot. Ah! Things have changed here since yesterday. And if he doesn't come? We'll see when the time comes. I, I, I was saying, things have changed here since yesterday. Everything oozes. Look at the tree. It's never the same pus from one second to the next. The tree. Look at the tree. Was it not there yesterday? Of course it was there yesterday. Do you not remember? We nearly hanged ourselves, but you wouldn't. Do you not remember? <laughs> That's the way I am. Either I forget immediately or I always remember. And Pato and Lucky, have you forgotten them too? Pato and Lucky? He's forgotten everything. I remember a lunatic who kicked the shins off me and then he played the fool. That was Lucky. I remember that, but when was it? And his keeper, do you not remember him? He gave me a bone. That was Pazzo. And all that was yesterday, you say? Yes, of course, it was yesterday. <laughs> and you're where we are now? Where else do you think? Do you not recognize the place? Recognize? What is there to recognize? All my lousy life, I've crawled about in the mud. <laughs> You tell me about scenery. Calm oh, yourself. Look at this muck heap. I've never stirred from it. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. You and your landscapes. Tell me about the worms. All the same. You can't tell me that this bears any resemblance to, to the Macon country, for example. You can't deny there's a big difference. The Macon country? Who's talking to you about the Macon country? But you were there yourself. In the Macomb country? No, I never was in the Macomb country. I puked out my puke of a life here, I tell you. Here, in the Cackle country. But we were there together. I, I could swear it. Picking grapes for a man called... I, I can't remember the name of the man. In, in a place called... I, I can't remember the name of the place. Do you not remember? It's possible, but I didn't notice anything. But down there, everything is red. I didn't notice anything, I tell you. Ah. Ah. You are a hard man to get on with, Gogo. 
it'd be better if we parted. You always say that. You always come crawling back. The best thing to do would be to kill me like the other. What other? What other? Like billions of others. To every man his little cross <laughs> until he dies. In the and it's forgotten. In the meantime, let us converse calmly since we are incapable of keeping silent. You're right. <laughs> We're inexhaustible. It's so we won't think. We have that excuse. It's so we won't hear. We have our reasons. All the dead voices. They make a noise like wings, like leaves, like sand. Leaves. They all speak at once, each one to itself. Rather, they whisper, they rustle, they murmur, they rustle. What do they say? They talk about their lives. To have lived is not enough for them. They have to talk about it. To be dead is not enough for them. It is not sufficient. They make a noise like feathers, like leaves, like ashes, like leaves. Say something! I'm trying! <laughs> Say anything at all! What do we do now? Wait for Godot. Ah! This is awful. Say something! Wait! No! No! We could start all over again, perhaps. That should be easy. <laughs> it's the start that's difficult. But you can start from anything. Yes, but you have to decide. True. I'm trying! When you seek, you hear. You do. That prevents you from finding. It does. That prevents you from thinking. You think all the same. No, no, impossible. That's the idea, let's contradict each other. Impossible. You think so? We are in no danger of ever thinking anymore. <laughs> and what are we complaining about? Thinking's not the worst. Perhaps not, but at least there's that. That what? That's the idea. Let's ask each other questions. What do you mean, at least there's that? That much less misery. True. <laughs> well, if we gave thanks for our mercies. What is terrible is to have thought. But did that ever happen to us? <laughs> <laughs> Where are all these corpses from? <laughs> these skeletons. Tell me that. <laughs> True. <laughs> we must have thought a little. At the very beginning? A charnel house. A charnel house. You don't have to look. I can't help looking. True. Try as one may. I beg your pardon? Try as one may. We should turn resolutely towards nature. We tried that. <laughs> True. 
Oh, it's not the worst. I know what to have thought. Obviously. But we could have done without it. Que voulez-vous? I beg your pardon. Que voulez-vous? Ah! Que voulez-vous? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't such a bad little canter. Yes, but now we have to find something else. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> well, what was I saying? We could go on from there. What were you saying when? At the very beginning. The very beginning of what? Of this evening. I was saying, I was saying. I'm not a historian. Wait. <laughs> we embraced. We were happy. What do we do now that we're happy? Wait, go on waiting. No, it's coming to me. Wait, go on waiting. Now that we're happy. Ah! <laughs> the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree? Do you not remember? I'm tired. Look at it! <laughs> I see nothing! But yesterday, it was all black and bare. And now, it's covered with leaves. Leaves? In a single night. It must be the spring. But in a single night? We <coughs> were here yesterday, I tell you, another of your nightmares. Where were we yesterday evening, according to you? How would I know? Another compartment. There's no lack of void. <laughs> Good. We weren't here yesterday evening. Now, what did we do yesterday evening? Do. Try and remember. Do. I suppose we blathered. About what? This and that, nothing in particular. Yes, now I remember yesterday evening we blathered about nothing in particular. That's been going on for half a century. <laughs> you don't remember any fact, any circumstance. Don't torment me, do you? The sun, the moon, do you not remember? They must have been there as usual. You didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Alas. And Pazzo and Wacky. Pato? The kick? The fish bubbles? Bones? They were like fish bones. That was Pato gave them to you. And I don't know. And the kick? That's right, somebody gave me a kick. It was Lucky gave it to you. And all this happened yesterday? Show your leg. Which? Both. Pull up your trousers. Uh, Pull up your trousers. The other. The other hog. <laughs> There's the wound beginning to fester. Well, what about it? Where are your boots? I must have thrown them away. When? I don't know. Why? I don't know why I don't know. No, why did you throw them away? But because they were hurting me. And there they are in the very spot where you left them yesterday. They're not mine. <laughs> not yours! <laughs> mine were black. These are brown. Are you sure yours were black? Well, they were a kind of gray. Uh, and these are brown? Show them. Well, they were a kind of green. Show! Well, of all the... You see, all that's a lot of... Ah! Money. I know what it is. I see what's happened. All that's a lot of... It's elementary. Someone came along, took yours, and left you his. Why? His were too tight for him, so he took yours. But mine were too tight. For you, not for him. I'm tired. <coughs> Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godot. Ah, what do we do? What do we do? There is nothing.
nothing we can do. But I can't go on like this. Would you like a radish? <laughs> is that all there is? I might have some turnips. Are there no carrots? No. Anyway, you overdo it with your carrots. Give me a radish. It's black. It's a rash. I only like the pink ones, you know that. Then you don't want it? I only like the pink ones. Then get a sack. I'll go and get a carrot. This is becoming really insignificant. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> what about trying them? I've tried everything. No, the boots, I mean. Would that be a good thing? It passed the time. I assure you. It would be an occupation. <coughs> a relaxation. A recreation. A relaxation. Try. You'll help me? I will, of course. <laughs> we don't manage too badly, ADD, between the two of us. Yes, yes. Come on. We'll try the left first. We always find some way, ADD, between the two of us to find uh, the impression that we exist. Yes, yes. We're magicians. But let us persevere in what we have resolved before we forget. Give me your foot. <clears throat> the other. The other hog. Higher. Try and walk. Well, if it's, we'll try and lace it then. No laces. No laces. You'll be sorry. Let's try the other. Ah! Ah! Well, if it's two, they don't hurt you. Not yet. Then you can keep them. They're too big. Perhaps you'll have socks someday. True. Then you'll keep them. That's enough about these boots. Yes, but I, that's enough. I suppose I might as well go and sit down. That's where you were sitting yesterday evening. <sighs> if only I could sleep. Yesterday you slept? I'll try. Wait! Here. What? 
Hold that. Well, how does it fit me? How should I know? No, but how do I look in it? Hideous. Yes, but not more so than usual. <laughs> Neither more nor less. Then I'll keep it. Mine irked me. How shall I say? It itched me. I'm going. Will you not play? Play at what? We could play at Pazzo and Lucky. <laughs> Never heard of it. I'll do Lucky. You do Pazzo. Go on. What am I to do? Curse me. Naughty. <laughs> Stronger! Got a caucus? <laughs> Spider Keys! <laughs> now, tell me to think. What? Say, think pig. Think pig. I can't. That's enough of that. <laughs> tell me to dance. I'm going. Dance, hog! <laughs> I can't. Go, go! Oh, oh, go, go! I don't know. How many? I don't know. It's Godot. At last, it's Godot. We're safe. Go, go. Let's go and meet him. Go, go. Come back. Oh. Go, go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ah. There you are again. Again. I'm in hell. Where were you? They're coming there, too. We're surrounded. <laughs> There's no way out there. There. Not a soul in sight. <laughs> Quick, off you go. You won't? Well, I can understand that. <laughs> Wait till I see. Your only hope is to disappear. Where? Behind the tree. Quick, behind the tree. <laughs> Decidedly, this tree will not have been of the least use to us. I lost my head. Forgive me. It won't happen again. Tell me what to do. There's nothing we can do. You go and stand there. There. Now don't move and watch out. Abortion! 
Morpian Zurat, Curate Creighton! Critic. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, now let's break it up! Go, go! Dee Dee! Your hand. Take it! Come to my arms. Your arms? My breasts! Off we go! Ah, how time flies when one has fun. What do we do now? While waiting. While waiting. We could do our exercises. Our, our relaxations. Our elevations. Our relaxations. Our elocations. Our relaxations. To warm us up. To calm us down. Off we go. <laughs> That's enough of time. <laughs> You're right, we're not for. What about a little deep breathing? I'm tired of breathing. You're right. Let's just do the tree for balance. The tree? <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> do you think God sees me? You must close your eyes. Reinforcements at last. Oh. Is, is it good job? We were beginning to weaken. Now we're sure to see the evening out. Oh. Do you hear him? We are no longer alone. Waiting for the night, waiting for Godot, waiting for waiting. All evening we have suffered unassisted. Now it's over. It's already tomorrow. Oh. Time flows again once more. The sun will set the moon rise, and we away from here. Ripley! Poor Pazzo. I knew it was him. Who? Godot. But it's not Godot. <laughs> it's not Godot? It's not Godot. Then who is it? It's Pazzo. Here, here, help me up. He can't get up. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godot. Ah! Perhaps he has another bone for you. Bone? Chicken, do you not remember? It was him? Yes! Ask him! Perhaps we should help him first. To do what? To get up. He can't get up? He wants to get up. Then let him get up. He can't get up. Why not? I don't know! <gasps> we should ask him for the bone first. <laughs> then, if he refuses, we'll leave him there. You mean... We have not our mercy? Yes! And we should subordinate our good offices to certain conditions? <laughs> what? That seems intelligent, all right, but there's one thing I'm afraid of. Oh. What? That Lucky will get going all of a sudden. Then we'd be boxed. Lucky? The one that went for you yesterday? I tell you, there was 10 of them. No, before that, the one that kicked you. Is he there? Large as life. For the moment, he's inert but he could run amok at any minute. Suppose we gave him a good beating, the two of us. You mean, if we fell on him asleep? Yes! That seems like a good old, good idea, all right, but can we do it? Is he really sleeping? No, best would be to take advantage of Pazzo's calling for help. Oh. To help him. Help him? In return for some tangible return. And suppose he let us not waste time in idle discourse. Let us do something while we have the chance. It is not every day that we are needed. Not indeed that we personally are needed. Others would meet the case equally well, if not better. To all mankind, they were addressed those cries for help still ringing in our ears. But in this place, at this time, all mankind is us, whether we like it or not. 
Let us make the most of it before it's too late and represent worthily for once the foul brood to which a cruel fate has consigned us. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's true that when with folded arms we weigh the pros and cons, we are no less a credit to our species. The tiger bounds to the help of his congeners without the least reflection, or else he slinks away into the depths of the thicket. But that is not the question. What are we doing here? That is the question. And in this, we are blessed, because we happen to know the answer. Yes, in this immense confusion, one thing alone is clear. We're waiting for Godot to come. Uh, or for night to fall. We have kept our appointment, and that's the end of it. We are not saints, but we have kept our appointment. How many people can boast as much? Billions. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. You may be right. All I know is the hours are long under these conditions and constrain us to beguile them with, how shall I say, proceedings which may at first seem reasonable until they become a habit. You may say it is to prevent a reason from habit, from foundering, no doubt. But has it not been long strain in the night of the endless abyssal depths? That's what I sometimes wonder. <laughs> you follow my reasoning. We are all born mad. Some remain so. <laughs> oh, I'll pay you. How much? Two hundred, uh, a hundred francs. It's not enough. I wouldn't go so far as that. Do you think it's enough? No, so far as to say that I was weak in the head when I came into this world. But that is not the question. Two hundred. We wait. We are bored. No, don't protest. We are bored to death. There's no denying it. Good. A diversion comes along. And what do we do? We let it go to waste. Let us go to work. In an instant, all will vanish, and we'll be alone again in the midst of nothingness. Two hundred! We're coming! What's the matter with you all? Help! I'm going! Promise? I swear it. And we'll never come back? Never. We'll go to the Pyrenees. Wherever you like. <laughs> Always wanted to wander through the Pyrenees. You'll wander in them. <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> so. Yeah. Quick, give me your hand. It's revolting. <laughs> Suppose in the end, I'll get up by myself. <laughs> in the fullness of time. What's the matter with you? Go to hell. Are you staying there? For the time being. Come on, Dee Dee. Don't be stubborn. You'll catch a chill. Don't worry about me. Come on, Dee Dee. <laughs> Don't be pig-headed. Oh! Ah. We've arrived. Who are you? We are men. Sweet Mother Earth. Can, can, can you get up? I don't know. Try. No, 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 no. What happened? Will you stop it, you pest? He can think of nothing but himself. Huh. How about a little snooze? Did, did you hear him? He wants to know what happened. Uh, don't mind him sleep. 
confess he shook me for a moment, but it is not for nothing that I have lived through this long evening, and I assure you it is very near the end of its repertory. But how are you feeling now? How long are we to cart him around? We are not carinatids. You say your sight used to be good, if I heard you right. Oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful sight. Quite wonderful. It expand! Oh. Expand! Oh. Let him alone. Oh. Can't you see? He's thinking of the days when he was happy. Memoria Preptatorium Bonorum. 
That must be unpleasant. We wouldn't know. And it came on you all of a sudden. Quite wonderful. I I'm asking if it came on you all of a sudden. Uh, I woke up one fine day as blind as fortune. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not still asleep. When was that? I don't know. But no later than yesterday? No question me. The blind have no notion of time. The things of time are hidden from them, too. Well, fancy that. I, I would have thought it's just the opposite way around. I'm going. Where are we? I, I couldn't tell you. Oh, what is it like? It's, it's, it's indescribable. It's, there's nothing. It, it's like nothing. It, there's a tree. <laughs> It's not a place called the board, then. Some diversion. <laughs> where, where is my menial? Oh, he's about somewhere. Oh, well, why doesn't he answer when I call? Oh, I don't know. He, he, he appears to be sleeping. Perhaps he's dead. Oh, well, what happened exactly? Exactly. The two of you slipped at, and fell. Oh, well, go and see. Is he hurt? You go. After what he did to me, never. Yes, yes, let your friend go. He stinks so. <laughs> what is he waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Godot. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly should he do? Well, to begin with, he should pull on the rope as hard as he can uh, without strangling him. Uh, he usually responds to that. Uh, then, uh, well, you should give him a taste of his boot in the face and privates as far as possible. See, you've nothing to be afraid of. Mm. And if he defends himself? Oh, no, he never defends himself. I'll come flying to the rescue. Uh, don't take your eyes off me. Make sure he's alive first. No point exerting yourself if he's dead. Breathing. Let him have it. Got a cactus! Spider kit! Naughty! Spider kit! Naughty, naughty, naughty! Spider! Oh, oh, the brute! Oh! 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 My friend has hurt himself. And Lucky? So, it is he. What? It is Lucky. Uh, I don't understand. And you? Or Pazzo? Oh, certainly. I am Pazzo. The same as yesterday. Yesterday? We met yesterday. Do you not remember? I don't remember having met anyone yesterday. But tomorrow I won't remember having met anyone today. So don't, don't count on me to enlighten you. But <laughs> enough! You, Up there. you were taking him to the fair to sell him. You spoke to us. Uh, he danced. He thought you had your sight. Yes. Please, let me go. Oh! What? Why 
will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I was dreaming of that past the time. I was dreaming Don't tell of that. Me. That past the time. Yeah. I, I wonder, is, is he really blind? Blind? Who? Pazzo. Blind? He told us he was blind. Well, what about it? It seemed to me he saw us. You dreamt it. Let's go. We can't. Ah! <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't him? Who? Godot. But who? Pazzo. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I suppose I may as well get up. I don't know what to think or Was I sleeping while others suffered? Am I sleeping now? Tomorrow, when I wake, or think I do, what shall I say of today? That with Estragon, my friend, in this place, we waited until the fall of night for Godot. That Pazzo passed with his carrier, and, and he spoke to us. Probably, but in all that, what truth will there be? He'll know nothing. He'll tell me about the blows he received, and I'll give him a carrot. A stride of a grave and a difficult birth, down in the hole, lingeringly, the grave digger puts on the forceps. We have time to grow old. The air is full of our cries. But habit is a great deadener. At me, too, someone is looking. Of me, too, someone is saying, he is sleeping. He knows nothing. Let him sleep on. I can't go on. <laughs> what have I said? Mr. Mr. Albert? Off we go again. <laughs> Do you not know me? No, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday. No, sir. This is your first time. Yes, sir. You have a message from Mr. Godot. Yes, sir. He won't come today. No, sir. He'll come tomorrow. Yes, sir. Without fail. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you meet anyone? No, sir. Two other men? I didn't meet anyone, sir. What does he do, Mr. Godot? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? He does nothing, sir. <laughs> How is your brother? He's sick, sir. Perhaps it was he came yesterday. I don't know, sir. He 
A beer, Mr. Gadot? Yes, sir. Fair or, or black? I think it's white, sir. Christ, have mercy on us. What am I to tell Mr. Goodell, sir? Tell him! Tell him that you, you saw me! And, and that you saw me! You won't come and tell me tomorrow! You never saw me! What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm going. So am I. Was I long asleep? I don't know. Where shall we go? Not far. Oh, yes. Let's go far away from here. We can't. I thought. We have to come back tomorrow what for? to wait for Godot. Uh, <laughs> he didn't come? No. And now it's too late? Yes. Now it's night. And if we dropped him? If we dropped him, he'd punish us. Everything's dead. But the tree. What is it? It's the tree. Yes, but what kind? I don't know. A willow. Why don't we hang ourselves? With what? You haven't got a bit of rope? No. No, we can't. Let's go. Wait, there's my belt. It's too short. You could hang on to my legs. And who'd have to mine? True. All the same. Show. It, it might do at a pinch, but is it strong enough? We'll soon see. Here. Oh. Not worth a curse. You say we have to come back tomorrow? <laughs> yes. Then we can bring a good bit of rope. Yes. <laughs> Dee Dee? Yes. I can't go on like this. That's what you think. <laughs> if we part it, that might be better for us. We'll hang ourselves tomorrow. <laughs> Unless Godot comes. And if he comes, we'll be saved. Well, shall we go? Pull on your trousers. What? Pull on your trousers. You want me to pull off my trousers? Pull on your trousers! <laughs> True. Well, shall we go? Yes, let's go.